Hello everybody. Today I am sowing more seeds. This is the start of my April sowings. Um, I'm in on day two of plants. I've got plants here, plants in the other tunnel, plants up, up in the greenhouse. I've got them blinking everywhere. Still more to sow. And what I've been doing is spreading the load over this January, February, March. And now we're into April. So I'm continuing the sowing. Keep plants turning over. Keep them. Keep things moving around and you can keep sowing and this will provide crops for you later in the year or flowers for you later in the year. So what I'm doing today is I've got some tomatoes to sow today. I've already sown some tomatoes but I have a few more to do and I know this very nice lady called Audrey and she's just started a YouTube channel called Real Food Comes Dirty. Uh, I seriously advise you to go over and have a look at that. I'll put a link in the description. Go and subscribe because I'm expecting massive things from this lady. Uh, even now with just three videos posted that she's got herself started with. She's got hundreds and hundreds of plants. So she's a lady after my own heart, so to speak. You know, she sows a lot, grows a lot and that can only be good. So do go and have a look at hers. Anyway, I was looking for some seeds from Baker Creek, an American company. And I'd seen one very early, probably around Christmas actually, called Barry's Crazy Cherry. And I, for some reason I didn't click buy and order it right then. And then somebody reminded me of it in one of the comments on one of my videos just recently. And I got a hold of uh, Audrey, I contacted her and asked, could she possibly send me? Because the web website was saying a two month delivery, which would be shockingly late really for getting them going. So she kindly sent me some seeds. She sent me a little bit more than the crazy cherry. This is the, the crazy cherry that I wanted. And she also sent me from Wild Boar Farms, this one called Blue Chocolate. <laughs> and this one called Black Strawberry. And I've also already got this one, which is Brad's Atomic Grape, that Tony from the northeast over there uh, very kindly sent me over. And I believe he sent these out to quite a few people, actually. So these are the first seeds that I'm going to be sowing today. So let's crack on with that. So I'm just going to sow these seeds straight onto the surface of these little tiny seed pots, because these will go on my propagator on my windowsill at home. And this is the atomic grape. And I'm just going to put a little divider in between them there. And then on this side, that's the Brad's atomic. This side I'll sow the blue chocolate. And again, I'm only doing a few of each of these. I'm sending Tony some of the crazy cherry them to try just a couple of plants so I'll grow the plants and and then post them off to him and talking about Audrey and Tony the three of us do a live live chat for an hour on Monday night 7 p.m. on Tony's channel I'll put a link underneath there it's good fun and this Monday we've also got naturally JB otherwise known as Patricia but that's a bit of an end joke you can see that on Monday night. <laughs> Sorry, JB. <laughs> but anyway, I'll sow the rest of these. These will all go on my propagator at home. Uh, and these will get off to a cracking start from there. <laughs> Patricia. <laughs> now I've changed locations because there was a lot of noise at the front of the plot, people popping in and saying hello and because they knew I was here. <laughs> Car engines revving because somebody was fixing their car. Chainsaws going. So I thought I'd come, come back here out of the way. Now, I had an email the other day from somebody. I won't mention who it is, just in case they're embarrassed by it. But they were asking about how to, how to handle smaller seeds and sow them. And just so happens I need to sow some of these bunching onions. These are Ishikura. And this is... A little seed sowing device. It's got a top on it and the top has got little holes on it. You can fit it if you wanted to to allow the seeds to come out of it very slowly. I don't, I just use it like this. Now these are tiny seeds, these are Shikura. 
And what you've got down this channel, there's little tiny bumps, plastic bumps in there. And as you tap, they fall down and you can probably see them holding up against that first ridge. You tap and they jump over. And that's a good way of controlling the smaller seeds. And I just need a couple in each cell here. This little seed dispenser, you can get them on eBay and they're only a couple of quid each, literally a couple of quid. And in some cases you can get two for three pound and that sort of thing. So do have a look at them. They're worth a weight in gold. I think I've got one in every polytunnel here. <laughs> in my seed boxes, in my greenhouse at home. I've even got one on my living room coffee table, would you believe? <laughs> They're everywhere, but very convenient and very quickly there. That whole thing is sown. A few seeds in each with control and I haven't wasted any seed. So that's a top tip for those small seeds. I think the guy that was asking me was wanting to sow lettuce. And uh, we'll move on to lettuce in a minute with these now. Just cover them in some compost. And that's a tray of spring onions ready to go. Just water them, water them, label them, and put them on one of my shelves in the big polytunnel. There we go, job done. <laughs> now, I'm like many gardeners, I grow lots of salads and lots of different types of salads, and they change through the year for varieties that I think work best at that time of the year. Now, I've got quite a bunch here that I'll be sowing either today or tomorrow. And they are lettuce, sadawi, freckles, lob joints, a red batavia, rouge grenobles, or gro gren grenobles, red grenoble, rougette de midi, <laughs> rain, de glace, I'll write all these on the description, black seeded simpson, and then I've got two. All these, I'll just pick leaves off. And the last two, lettuce little gem and lettuce tom tom, I'll let mature into full lettuces and take those. So they'll all be sown into, because there's a lot of varieties there, they'll all be sown into little trays like this to save on space. As I've got here with these. Now, what we need to do, I mean, you could, where's the little seed sower thing gone? You could use the little seed sower thing, wherever it's gone. I don't know. You could use the little seed sour and individually place one in each module if you wanted to. I have a preference to use a tray like this and then I will make little furrows like that in the compost and I'll sow a line of seed. And that's exactly what I've got here. It's sieved compost, so you can just very carefully dig them out and you'll find that the compost will just fall away from it because it's sieved. And then you can separate these seedlings up with a bit of fiddling and faffing, pot them on. There we go. So with a bit of care, you can very easily fill one of these trays from a little tiny tray like this, which has got lots of varieties in and you're not taking up all that valuable space that you need at this time of the year for growing on seedlings. Just keeping things compact and a little bit more under control. I'm just shaking the compost off there. As long as it's got a little bit of roots on, it will take. Some of them don't want to separate, of course, but there we go. You won't get a full tray because you've done them so early. You'll get one or two that don't take, but mostly they will. So you can see very quickly, I mean, that's probably enough of that variety for me. But I sow like that. I'll fill that whole tray up with maybe two of these and another tray with two of those. 
and we'll have plenty of lettuces moving forward and then when these are finished hopefully these will be coming up in the same situation you can keep them moving on without taking up too much of your space and you can use a little seed sowing device if you want to sow directly into modules i mean that's a 40 cell tray and you could easily sow four or five varieties straight into that if you wanted to my preference is to do it this way uh, to keep the tray space and the space used small and more controllable as you could see dead easy and what more do you want so that's lettuce we've got all those to go in probably two of those trays or i might use a big seed tray and sow the lot in we'll see well, there we go now we had a frost last night and when i come down here this morning there was ice on the tops of the water butts so it's still very cold at night and you really want a temperature approaching what if not 10 degrees in your soil to sow your root crops and that means things like your carrots your parsnips your turnips your beetroot all those sorts of things because they're just going to sit there and soak and if they're wet they could potentially rot off and that will lead then to erratic germination and not you know patchy crops so what i'm waiting for is for the weather to warm up and i'll check tonight and see if there's a window coming up hopefully in the next week then i can get me carrots in and i've got four varieties here and the first one is purple sun then autumn king uh, autumn king are the great big carrots and burlicum which are somewhere in between them and the purple sun and a new variety to me which is called touchon and apparently that stores well and holds its sweetness well into the winter so those four are a must and i say just waiting for the soil temperatures to rise also i'm waiting to put me uh, parsnips out now you can sow them in cold soil but i do think that they sort of wait wait around for the soil to warm up before they germinate and it's, i think it's one of the issues you get with germination of um, parsnip seeds but anyway um i'll sow these at the same time as my carrots and i'm going to do gladiator f1 as my main crop for the parsnips for this year I also do another one called Palace F1, which I'll be sowing here in the polytunnel just behind me here. And another root, essentially, is parsley. And I'll grow them in a similar tray to the ones I did the tomatoes in earlier. But what I'll do is I'll go home, boil the kettle, make a coffee, drink the coffee. And then by the time I've drunk the coffee, the water in the kettle will be cooled down enough to water the compost first. So that the compost is at a, quite a high temperature then i'll sow the seeds cover them in a bit more compost and then spray water over the top just to keep everything moist and that gives parsley a good jolt to get it going at this this time of the season now this is the italian giant leaf and it's a flat leaf parsley and, and i got this from uh, premier seeds direct it's only a pound and there's absolutely tons of seeds in there but one plant of this will grow two two and a half foot tall and probably this wide and it's flat leaf as I say and you'll get tons and what I do is I tend to harvest it chop it put it in a container store it in the freezer we use a lot of it fresh I'll just put whole leaves in salads as well or into stir fries lovely little flavor parcels the same as I do with this stuff here this is uh, this has gone over now but this is sort of coriander I do the same exactly the same with that as well um, so i'll be sowing some of the coriander soon i've actually got some coriander up here as a microgreen as well um, and the other ones i want to get going is last year i was multi-sowing beetroot in module trays much the same as i just done with the ishikura salad onions a few minutes ago and it didn't quite work out as as well as i wanted it to last year they, they weren't really getting to the size that i uh, that i wanted so i'm going back this year to single sowing in a row straight into the beds and i'll do the same with turnips as well and with radish so all these roots need the soil temperature to warm up and we're not that far away from it now i don't think uh, and i can get all these going and then that's another big batch of seeds done this month the warmer weather crops things like courgettes cucumbers that's all to come later this month as well so that will be another video and there'll be a flower video as well coming up in a couple of days. I've got some right little crackers for that one coming up. So 
do stick around for that don't forget big red subscribe button just down there give that a hit and hit the notification bell selecting all then every time i post a video you won't miss it and you'll get there don't forget the live show on monday nights on tony's channel there'll be a link in the description that's with tony with audrey with myself and patricia i mean and jb so don't forget that Lots of fun for an hour and you can come on, ask some questions and have some questions answered or walk away with more questions than you came with. Who knows? But it's good fun. So I recommend having a look at that. And that's on Tony's channel and the link is just underneath here. So that's it for today. Look after yourselves, everyone. Please stay safe. We'll see you all very, very soon. Toronto.